We're here with Tom and Sid, who are a five-year-old team of oxen here at Old Sturbridge Village. Uh, they were born here and they've grown up here. I trained them, taught them to do all the work uh, they need to do on the farm. And now, at five years old, they're full grown and ready to pull a plow, skid logs, move anything I can pack into a cart or a wagon. Uh, but they didn't start this way. We had to train them up since they were little calves. And the most difficult thing about training a team of oxen uh, isn't any special skill or knowledge or uh, inherent gift with cattle. It's really about uh, patience and dedication. Uh, you need to make the commitment to get out and do a little work with them every single day for the first couple years of their life and ideally until they are full grown, which takes a lot of time and uh, a lot of early mornings. Uh, and then the patients, you know, they are pretty clever animals socially and they do a lot of things to intentionally frustrate and work against you and you just have to work through it. Back up. So everywhere in the world that works with cattle has a slightly different method for training and raising them. Uh, but in the New England tradition, we start with young calves. Uh, they're much more tractable and growing up as working animals, doing a little bit of work every single day. Uh, it becomes a part of their life. So I'm William French, I'm one of the farmers here at Old Sturbridge Village, and these two are our new team of oxen, Don and Red. So Don was born in early April to Abby, and um, Red here was born in mid-April to Betsy. So they were both born here on the farm and out in the back. So Red here is probably about 20% uh, milking shorthorn and 80% American Red Devon. Dawn is uh, probably around uh, 75, 75 or so percent Devon and about a quarter Jersey. So these two simply uh, were chosen uh, to be our next team because they're about the same uh, size and age. Um, so then on top of that, um, they both, after we first put them in the yoke, they had a good temperament for it. They took to it well and they started to learn pretty quick. So we knew pretty quick that they were going to be a good team. So when these boys are four years old, they'll be fully grown and fully trained, and they'll be able to pull carts uh, for haying, logs, for, um, to the sawmill, rails around, all kinds of heavy lifting that I can't do myself. So when these two are uh, really small, it's very easy to reinforce that something is bad. You know, As they get older, they'll get stuck in their habits, and it'll be a lot harder to get those bad habits out of there. So Don and Red's uh, individual personalities are quite interesting. So uh, Red here is very calm um, and kind of collected. He's also extremely curious. Um, he's generally well behaved and pretty well mannered. Um, Red, or Don here, is um, a little more of the troublemaker. You know, he's, he can be a little bit of a knucklehead sometimes, but at his core he's pretty good. He's also pretty curious as well, you know, but definitely less so than Red. So one of my favorite stories about these two that was kind of funny was the first time I took them up on the common um, and they realized that the village was actually like three times bigger than they had previously thought. Um, I actually had to stop and let them take it in for a minute and they just looked like, you know, the world had gotten so much wider. So, so one of the first commands they learn is HUP, which is simply a contraction of get up. So to give that command, all you simply do is you tap them on the rear with the driving stick. Boys, get up. And they go forward. Another good one is whoa, which is to stop them. That's the second command they learn. So to turn uh, left, you give the command ha. Ha, boys. Ha. And you can turn them as far as you want. Ha. 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 <laughs> Red ha. 
Whoa. Good boys. So to turn them right, you simply give the command G. G, boys. G. G. Whoa. And you can turn them to the right as well.